In my last video on Polygon ZK EVM, some people have commented and asked me to make a step-by-step -step guide on how I farm the scroll airdrop. And I thought to myself, why the hell not? So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. But before we do, I just wanna say, if you don't wanna miss any of these big airdrops that could potentially change your life financially, you need to visit airdropuniversity.com. And with that out of the way, please enjoy the farming guide. The first step as always is to get a MetaMask wallet. If you do not have it, uh, go to metamask.io, but you do need an EVM compatible wallet. I'm gonna be using a fresh wallet for this video that has never interacted with scroll, which is really good because then you'll see everything from A to Z. So as a first step, we need to go to chainlist.org and we need to add scroll network inside of our MetaMask. Click approve, we'll switch network, and we'll just double check. Voila, added, that simple. Now that we have scroll network inside of our MetaMask, we need to add funds into scroll network, and I'll just check where my funds are. Uh, so I'll go to dbank.com. Uh, you'll connect your wallet if it's not connected yet. I believe mine is connected. Yes, and here you see I have a total of $65. Uh, Ethereum took some beating today. And here you can see that I have $53 on the Ethereum chain. I have $11 on Polygon ZK EVM and nothing on ZK Sync Era. So in order for me to put money onto a scroll network, I need to go to scroll.io and I'll click on bridge. And here we're gonna, we'll have to click on connect wallet. We'll connect with our MetaMask. We'll switch to Ethereum network. And here we can transfer some of the ETH onto scroll. So we'll just start with $39. Obviously, the more money you have available for this, the better because you also want to farm up total volume. So we're just gonna click on deposit funds. Okay, after excruciating 15 minutes, the transaction has finally gone through. We can double check that on the bank. I've already refreshed the page, so you can, you'll just see the same thing. But you see now the funds have left the Ethereum network. I've left some funds behind for future gas and the $39 have already landed. So now we've interacted with the native bridge by bridging from Ethereum to scroll. I say this in every single video, but I will say this again this time. What matters when you're airdrop farming different projects is transaction volume, meaning how much dollar value you bring in transactions to the network. Second is total amount of transactions, meaning how many transactions you've performed, how many transactions you signed and confirmed, how many smart contracts you've interacted with, meaning if you're swapping with how many different coins, from how many different coins, each interaction is a different smart contract, which counts. And last but not least, it's the longevity, it's the length of how long have you been farming this airdrop, meaning how long have you been interacting with this particular project, or with this particular ecosystem. Okay, next up, we want to interact with kyberswap.com. Here, you wanna make sure you switch to scroll network. As per use, you wanna connect your wallet, accept terms of use. Okay, we connect with our wallet. We switch to scroll network and there we go. We swap some ETH for USDT. Okay, we confirm the swap, 50 cents for gas, and we wait for it to finalize. It's still pending, as you can see up here. Okay, and it's done. So now we just swap it right back. We do max. A fun fact, Kyber Swap, which is the product of Kyber Network, was my first ever crypto ICO, and I believe I've made around $10,000 on it back in the days which was like 2017, if I remember correctly. I think like summer 2017 is when Kyber Network ICO'd uh, fun times. Somehow the USDT to ETH swap didn't go through, so I'm just gonna swap all the USDT into Kyber Network token, which 
you know, for sentimental reasons, we confirm transaction, it's been submitted and it's gone through. Transaction is a success. And now we want to swap it for die, for example. Price impact is high. So I'll try to find something with a small price impact. We'll probably just do back to ETH. Um, price impact is also very high. Oh, it's 2%. I mean, 2% would matter to me at a, at a big volume transaction. For the purpose of this video, I think I can just eat up the loss and move on. Well, Kyber Network let me down today. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do that. We approve the cap, one transaction pending, and we wait again while well, it's approved. I don't wanna approve, I wanna swap. So I refresh the page. So I'll actually check the price impact. Um, okay, we've swapped it back. We didn't wanna swap, we wanted to swap all of it. Jesus Christ. So I messed up, I only swapped one KNC token, and now I have uh, I had to swap the rest. Essentially, it still means I'm farming the airdrop because I'm just adding up transactions within the ecosystem. Now I'm gonna show you the same hack I have shown you in my last video. So you'll go to mail.dmail.ai and you're going to connect with your wallet. You're going to sign. And once you sign, you wanna make sure you are on the scroll network. Okay, and here what you do is you click on compose and we send an email to airdrop university 24 at gmail.com. The subject line is going to be transaction hack. And we're just going to say noise and we click on send, click on continue and confirm the transaction. Like I've explained in my previous video, the reason why this is a hack is because when you're performing transaction on scroll network or any other layer two, you're usually paying say 40 cents, 50 cents per transaction. Sometimes it's a bit less depending on the congestion of the ETH network overall. But when you're sending email with the email, you're only paying like two to four cents each time, meaning that's how you can really ramp up the transaction uh, volume in order to receive more from the airdrop reward pool. So I hope this makes a lot of sense. Now, as the next thing, we want to go to scroll name service, which is uh, URL of app.scrollns.com. And here we'll just mint our uh, specific dot scroll address. And so we're just gonna call it airdrop university dot scroll. We search if it's available. We connect with our wallet, of course, and it is available. So we're just gonna mint it, click continue. We confirm the transaction and we'll see that it costs about $10 total and it has been successfully registered. Now this is the type of transactions that you do once. I imagine you don't need 10 different names registered, but it's good to do this at least once so you have it. And again, you're increasing the total transaction amount. I've shown you KyberSwap, but I want you to keep in mind that there is multiple dApps and DEXs inside of the scroll ecosystem like SyncSwap. We've already interacted with this uh, in a different video. Here you can choose to swap between different coins. Again, you're ramping up the smart contract volume, but what you can also do is you can provide liquidity into different pools. Now, this is sort of set and forget type of thing that you do with extra funds that you have sitting on the side. You would just choose the pool, the liquidity pool that you want to deposit your funds into. And then aside from just farming this airdrop and earning yourself extra points, you would also be earning some extra APR passively on the deposited funds. To find other dApps in the scroll ecosystem, I want you to go back to scroll.io slash ecosystem. And here, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see different dApps and different protocols in the scroll ecosystem divided into different categories. So here you can find different projects that you can interact with to help you farm extra points for scroll. You could do ambient finance or there is also 
Cog Finance, and they all pretty much work in the same fashion. So here again, I would choose MetaMask. So Cog is a DeFi protocol. Here you can borrow and lend different crypto assets. Another dApp that I like to use is RhinoFi. Here again, you would just launch the app. You can swap between different coins, increase the amount of smart contracts you interact with. You can bridge into other networks, etc. If you go back to the scroll ecosystem dashboard, you you will notice there is an NFT section. Now, I would highly recommend that you do mint and purchase some NFTs, and you can do that on Creatorland. Creatorland.com, make sure you are on the scroll network. You also need to connect your wallet again. And here you could mint, you'll see here on the left, you can mint your own NFTs. I will mint the Airdrop University logo. And the reason why you want to mint NFTs is because minting is a different transaction from, for example, transfer and swaps. So this really makes it appear as a genuine interaction with the ecosystem and its different facets. You would also want to go to a marketplace and explore and maybe buy some cheap NFTs on the scroll network as well. For example, Chibi Tank or something that's, you know, really cheap, but it will show that you're genuinely interacting with the ecosystem. And so now I've given you the native bridge, I've shown you Kyber swap, different swap like sync swap, etc., where you could swap between tokens, but also provide liquidity. We've minted our dot scroll name and we've minted our own NFT. Now you can repeat those steps on a weekly basis or daily basis, totally up to you and look out for the news about a snapshot or when the token is about to drop. To see how well you're doing compared to other users, you can go to whensir.xyz. Here, you'll just copy your address, select the scroll network, and then check your progress. I think it did not fully update yet because we've definitely performed more than four transactions. So we might wanna check a little bit later again, but this tool is really helpful when you're trying to find out how well are you doing in farming different airdrops, different protocols. So here is how much money you've deposited. Uh, this is dollar amount in ETH. The total transaction volume, like I said, you know, this could be me just swapping $5,000 back and forth twice, or I could accumulate this volume by transacting 10K four time, or five times, right? Self-explanatory transactions over time, here you've interacted with in, in two different months, six different months and nine distinct months. Now, when you look at this, it pretty much mirrors everything I've told you so far when it comes to the smart contract interactions, when it comes to transaction volume, the length, longevity of how, how long you've been farming a certain protocol. And so use this tracker whenever possible. If we actually go back, you can see here in the drop down that you can use it for ZK Sync, Linea, Scroll, Base, Blast, Tyco, Zora, Aptos, and plenty of other ecosystems, plenty of other projects. I'll conclude the guide here. If you would like to get all of the steps that we do inside of our community, visit airdropuniversity.com. Uh, but regardless, you're well equipped to do well with Scroll as is. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was my guide on how to farm scroll. If you did enjoy it, please let me know down in the comments and also tell me what airdrop should I cover in my next video. And with that said, I hope to see you in the next one.